Hey everyone, so my name is Zach Vines, and what we're gonna look at today is just how to calculate a simple moving average. You're gonna see the concept is extremely simple, so we're just gonna go right through it, make this a pretty brief video. So you're often gonna see it worded out, maybe in your stats problems or whatever it is that you're having to do a moving average for, that it's an X month moving average. It might be based on years or any sort of time frame, but you're gonna be given sort of the time frame that they want the moving average for. So, and I say months right there because we're just dealing with months, but again, you can do years or whatever time frame, but you're simply just gonna to average the previous X months or however whatever period of time worth of the information that you have. So let's just go through a really quick example. So let's say that given this information right here, where I have six months worth of information, I have January through June, and uh, some sales figures relating to those months. And I was wanting to calculate a three month moving average for every possible month I was able to. Well, based on the definition, we're just averaging the previous X months worth of info. So if I'm calculating a three month moving average, then I'm gonna look at the previous three months and average all three of them. And so so for January, you can see we don't have the previous three months worth of information. We don't have the December through November or October of the previous year. So we can't do a moving average based on the information we have right there. So January, and as a matter of fact, February and March don't have enough information to do a three month moving average because at most when we're at March, we have the previous two months, but we need December of the previous year in order to do the three month moving average for March. But you can see that April, May, and June, we do have sales figures for the previous three months. So it's literally as simple as looking at the previous three months. So let's take April into account. We have April and we look at the previous three months, we add together, or just simply we're gonna average them, the 130,000 from March, the 136 from February, and the 125 from January, add them all up, divide them by three, just taking the average of the three months, and that's gonna give you $130,000, 333.33. Uh, you do the same thing for May, just take the previous three months, so we have the 141, 130, 136, add them together, divide by three, that's gonna give you your May figure, and then the exact same thing for June, just take your 147, 141, and 130 from your previous three months, divide by three, and that gives you your moving average for that month. So this might be kind of an obvious point to make, but I just wanna make it extra clear that you're not just dividing by three every time. The reason we're dividing by three is we're doing a three month average. So just literally think about for however many months, whatever the moving average is, in this case it was three, it could be five, could be however many months, um, just take the average of those months, which is adding up each of those figures, divided by the number of figures that you added together, and you should be good to go. So you can see it's a pretty simple process, just averaging the previous X months worth of information. This should give you, should give you a good example. So uh, thank you for watching and I hope that helped.